I'm your roommate. I'm a pretty good person, and I think you are too, but it seems like we're a little different when it comes to partying. Now, I know that you need to get your groove on, or let the dogs out, or whatever, but you're turning our room into Party Central, and it's totally trashed. Now, I'm not your mom. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. To each his own. Looks like your own is Jim Beam and Captain Morgan. Hey, fine, whatever. But when you bring your stumbling self home at 3 a.m., waking up the whole floor and puking in the laundry basket, that affects me. So, we gotta get our stuff straight. Now, I've tried to talk to you about this. I've expressed to you that when you bring your choices into this room, they become our choices. My choices. And you tell me to relax. <laughs> So, you party your way, and I'll relax mine. <laughs> I find it relaxing to answer your cell phone when you're sleeping one off and ask your mom hypothetical questions about what's the best cure for a hangover, or how to deal with a dealer who won't call you back when you really need to smoke out, man. Your mom does not sound very relaxed. Your grandma, oh, she called, by the way, yesterday when you were passed out next to the toilet with your face pressed up against the bowl. She seemed very unrelaxed. Now I'm relaxed, helping my roommate wake up with this. Filled with ice water, this is a great hangover cure and one hell of an alarm. Oh, I also find it relaxing to let RAs in when they come around asking about that weed stank seeping out under the door during your morning wake and bake before class. If you get written up and I have to prove to the RA that it's not me so I don't get kicked out, I find that very relaxing. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm asking you to be considerate. You be considerate of me, and I'll be considerate of you. It's not just your residence hall room. Talk to your roommate. Be an adult and figure out ways to get along.